Are we going? We're on? Yes? Cool. She's nodding her head, ladies and gentlemen. My camera person today is the illustrious Forrest, who you may remember from uh, as my worthy competitor from our Harry Potter trivia and bean eating competition. Say hi to the people, Forrest. Hello. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, today we're doing some science, and you may be asking yourself, why is Dave wearing an Incredible Hulk hand? Well, that's because today we're going to try and make some Incredible Hulk slime. It's been a while since we made some slime. I figured we were about due. And another reason I'm doing some Incredible Hulk slime is because all through September, even though this is August when you're going to be watching this, all through September, the library is going to be doing a bunch of superhero themed activities. And we're going to have some superhero crafts to give out to you guys uh, in your, in your uh, pickups with your items when you swing by the library, if you so want. So stay tuned for that. This is going to be a real <laughs> experiment. Not like the other experiments aren't real experiments, but this one I've not actually tested beforehand uh, because I, um, we didn't have enough materials for me to do that. For example, the recipe actually calls for clear Elmer's glue. I only had white, um, so that should make things interesting. It also called for black sequins, which I didn't have. I had silver sequins which I painstakingly painted black just for y'all. It's black on my fingers from the sequins. No? Nothing? Okay. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? So, as I said, the first thing you're gonna need is, if you have it, clear Elmer's glue. You're gonna need four ounces or half a cup of it. And that's the first thing that you're gonna pour into your bowl. Like so. satisfying, isn't it? Get it much out as we can. A little more. Think that's good enough? Yep. All right. The next thing we're going to add is half a cup of warm water. I have a full cup here, but we're only going to use half a cup for starters. A little more. A little more. Closer. A little more. That's good. What did I do with my spoon? Um, I left it somewhere. Oh, we have to go on a field trip. I'll be back. I'm coming back. Well, <laughs> I absolutely just had it in my hands, ladies and gentlemen. This is Irresponsible Dave at his peak. <laughs> I'll be back shortly. Oh, there it is! I found it! It was camouflaged on the desk. <laughs> found it. I got it. Now we're just gonna very gently <laughs> stir our lukewarm water and our white Elmer's glue I'm gonna give it a nice little mix. <sighs> calming, isn't it? Very calming. After That's good enough for the moment. The okay. Library. Now we're gonna add the glitter and the sequins and some food coloring just for a little extra panache. And these are my sequins. I'm just gonna dump them right on in. You did a good job painting them black. Thank you! Some green food coloring. Green 
glitter. Some more green glitter. Different green glitter. That's right. Some more green glitter. Oh, that was a lot of green glitter. <laughs> yes, it was. We like to make our uh, Incredible Hulk slime festive. And finally, some black glitter. Ooh. Ooh. You didn't have to hand paint that, right? No. No, no, no. All right. <clears throat> Next, we're going to take some borax. How much? A teaspoon's worth. And this is actually a quarter teaspoon, because I couldn't find an actual teaspoon. We're doing good here at the library this morning, folks. So four scoops. And we're gonna add it into our remaining water. Ooh. One, two, three, and one teaspoon. And we're gonna mix it up good. And then slowly add it to our formula. And then we'll continue to mix and hope for the best. If nothing else, it'll look really cool. Too bad you didn't have a whisk. Yes. I could probably find one if I ran down to the kitchen, but I've already run once during this video. I think that's enough. This is the really exciting part. The stirring. The stirring. How thick will it get? You know. Looking kind of soupy right now. Yeah, I'm feeling like we could add a little bit more borax to this. Let's Do try that it. now. Yeah. Add an extra teaspoon and see what happens. An extra quarter teaspoon, <laughs> I should say. So what you really needed was hand mixers? Clearly. Or an immersion blender. Or, you know, maybe just clear Elmer's glue. There might be something mm. in that that works better than the white. The ingredients. Indeed. Let's try just a little more borax. <laughs> what could hurt? It, right? Yeah, la -de -da. So we've now added an extra Half Three quarters, because yes. you added one quarter teaspoon before, and now another two. We're doing math with our science today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't feel strongly about this. It's slimier. It's, yeah, I mean, it does have a very lovely slimy con consistency, but not the kind oh. you might necessarily want to play with. It's very Nickelodeon. I mean, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. It is very Nickelodeon. Ah. Oh. So now you have to find someone who will let you dump it on their head. Yeah, are there any millennial parents out there? <laughs> oh man, it feels awesome. I do not regret this at all. Some nice alien brains. Yes. I'm not sure we could chalk this up to being very incredible hulkish, aside from the, the color and the, the little flecks of, of black from my homemade black sequins. But you know what? We had fun doing this, and it feels pretty cool. You wanna to touch it for us? You wanna try it? Yeah. Oh, gross. <laughs> yeah! All right, I, I think that's about all the time that we have for today. <laughs> what do you think, Forrest? Sounds great. Yes, so tune in next week where we do something else, uh, and maybe with a little bit more preparation, but just as much fun, no doubt. 
All right, we hope all of you are doing well. We miss you, and we hope to see all of you soon.